Hi guys, I hope you all will be fine. Uh, today's uh, video is regarding MATLAB. Uh, most of us in engineer domain we need thing to play as a socket or triangular or square wave, something like that. So we must know how to how to make this socket waveform at the input of the circuit. Might be you can use this example can be used in a DSP course for electrical engineer or electronics engineer, uh, as well as in signaling system and many other courses which are related to Fourier series application and like these kind of um, example can include the input wave should be sorted triangular or square wave. So let's see how can how can we draw it. Uh, let's say this is this is our input the magnitude is one here so let's let's start uh, first of all uh, we need to we need to check out the time period of the the first portion the i mean this portion you know let's take this portion and by looking at it we can see that the time period for this video is uh, this is minus 0.5 and this is plus 0.5 okay so uh, uh, so we can say that here t is equal to i mean t by 2 is equal to 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 and minus t2 must be also equal to 0.5 10 to the power minus 4 okay I'm sorry for the writing and so uh, what will be t and um, it's simple mathematics 0.1 millisecond I think okay uh, we got t here from for this specific area okay we are interested in that area and then if we if we can plot this we can plot t all this okay and so we got t 0.1 millisecond now from this t we can calculate f i think f is equal to 1 over t uh, you all in the know it also it's very simple so it will be 10 kilohertz i think yeah it will be this 10 kilohertz okay so we got this time period we got this frequency uh, what all uh, this is all about this is all about the calculation part so we have two values here the t and f now we will move to matlab and we will see that how can we implement this sorted wave on matlab left Okay, the MATLAB is open. Let's go to a script okay, and open a new file here. So let's start. Uh, let's start how to program it to plot the triangular waveform. Uh, first of all, close all. Okay. Mm, what do we have? We have and it is equal to what was this 0.1 millisecond we have we have figured it out here that sorry i discarded the uh, the calculation but we have uh, you can see it in from previous steps that this for this area the t for 0.1 millisecond so we can write 0.1 millisecond as 1 over something 10,000 okay and what do we have let's say we have sample frequency of 10,000 hertz okay and let's 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 make time period here we want to plot minus t by 2 sorry t by 2 Calling t by fs calling positive t by two. Okay, t by two. So we have for the time p 
period x axis will be the time and what else what else uh, we have now we have we will we will plot it x is equal to i i want to i want to tell you about this specific uh, command for the socket waveform representation okay what what we going to write this here 2 pi you know 2 2 pi what is what should come here 2 pi as you know ft what is f over f over we have calculated 10 k is over f okay and multiply by t to by ft simple okay and now let's try further yeah so we have done it let's plot it Let's save it as a name of sort. I forget to define fs. fs must be defined before this. Now let's see. I hope it will work. Okay, so this is the way. This is the triangular way which we want to draw actually. And you can see it from this presentation as the it was like this. This this area we want to do. Let's let's do that. We want exactly the same shape which we have considered. We, from here, we can see how many for time period it has been drawn for one, one way, two way, three way, and four way. Okay, if these are four waves, so we will going to amend this code. This is the four way. We, we want to plot it for the four, four. So we will multiply it here. Okay. No, I think that is also a better sign to come here. This gonna work. Okay, here you go. So let's make it beautiful by putting grid on. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, that's good. Okay, now you can see that this is the triangular waveform which we require for. Uh, which we have discussed earlier. No, let's let's say I, I, I don't want to try and reform. This is sorted. Sorry, this is sorted waveform. Let's say if we say that uh, we don't want sorted waveform, we want triangular waveform. So here's the trick. You just have to enter point five here. Okay, just point five. Here. That this was the figure before we have put this. Specific constant point five there. Let's see what happened. So you can see that it has now it has become the triangular way. So you can you can see that we have draw the tri uh, so, uh, triangular waveform from the sorted waveform just by adding the point five. Term. If you can see the time period, it is point five minus point five to point five. It's the same. It's the same. Okay. I haven't added x label and y label and readings etc. Uh, you can do it as you wish, but this is all from my side. I hope you like my video. Uh, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye bye.